Hi everybody, today I'm going to answer a question on the startle reflex. So the startle reflex is one of the reflexes that remains with us right through our adult lives. Uh, many animals in the animal kingdom also have the startle reflex um, as part of their evolutionary protective responses. And the startle reflex, unlike many of the reflexes that you might have come across, is not a reflex that integrates or disappears. So a lot of reflexes that we would think of from little babies are called primitive reflexes. So the sucking reflex, which is you can just stroke a baby's cheek and it you'll make little sucking movements with its mouth when it's very early days. Um, the sucking reflex is a primitive reflex. It's kind of built into the biology of the system. And then when the baby gains control of the tongue and the lips and the mouth and the throat and it has abdominals and it can start to actually coordinate sucking um, much more deliberately, then that reflex will basically disappear. It's called integrating, but it will disappear and it will no longer be present. Now the startle reflex, it stays with us our entire lives and it's a protective reflex that uh, shows up when there is a sudden change in the stimuli. So often we might associate this with an auditory startle reflex. So if we hear a loud noise, we'll kind of get a, a startle and that is around 80 decibels. So as a general rule, 80 decibels and above is going to elicit a startle reflex. And you might have had an experience where you're sitting at a cafe and you know, a motorbike goes past and that kind of really loud poof, sort of sound that they make or a cat car backfires, you'll have a startle reflex. Now, the reflex is going through the fascial networks, which means that it's global and it's fast. So it's going to kind of affect the entire sort of um, skeletal muscular skin system. Vroom. And what you'll get is either an extension kind of reflex where the eyes will go big and the hands will kind of go into this extended um, sort of position. The, the back will come up or you can get a kind of ducking or a flexion response where you, you'll get smaller and you'll contract in on yourself. And the startle reflex is going to affect um, the eyes. There might be a blink. There might be a wide eye. The jaw is going to tend to clamp. And it's actually meant to be one of the fastest um, kind of muscle areas to actually activate in that startle response. We're going to get a really quick shift of blood and a quick shift in the nervous system. And we're going to maybe feel quite um, shaky. Uh, we're going to feel quite like uh, hypervigilant and um, sort of startled in our thinking processes as well. And so what we're looking at is going, oh, this is just what the nervous system does. Um, it's a very old reflex, uh, been with, you know, the mammalian kingdom, uh, the animal kingdom for a long time. And so this is just, you know, something in the environment has triggered this startle reflex. Could be the sound. It could be that we are maybe engaged in our work and we don't hear someone approaching and then they touch our arm and we'll get a startle from that. It could be that we sort of feel an unsteadiness on, on the ground, maybe um, our chair or our foot slips a little bit, perhaps even an earthquake, so there's movement underneath and it's like, oh, there's going to be a startle reflex to that sudden shift um, of the ground and loss of stability. Babies will have it when they're immersed in cold water, so we might get a startle reflex when we are going into cold water. Um, but what can also happen with a startle reflex is that um, because the amygdala and the hippocampus can get involved, memories and thoughts can even um, elicit the startle reflex, which is quite profound really to think, oh wow, you can have a thought um, or a memory and you'll get that, that reflex um, elicited. So, of course, the reflex is just part of the biology and it's nothing to sort of be too concerned about, except, of course, when that reflex feels like it's become hypervigilant and the smallest noise, the smallest um, brush or touch, um, repeated thinking and memory processes are eliciting the startle reflex, then, of course, this starts to become, you know, really exhausting and really um, destabilizing for the people who are experiencing this. So one of the ways that we can work with the startle reflex is to 
bring ourselves back to our bodies in really um, really biologically nourishing ways so if I have a startle reflex I'm going to be holding my breath my eyes my jaw my belly my back are all going to be in this tension patterning and my hands as well so you might even just want to kind of take a moment just to you know, be there and then find your way back to going, okay, what do I need? What do I need right now? And it might be that you want to bring your hands to your chest. And as soon as you do that, you, oh, you're going to be able to connect with that tension and the breath hold in the chest area. Oh, and it might elicit a quite a sort of a, oh, a kind of a percussive breath that's going to help to bring you back into your body. Occasionally, it's going to even elicit a little, oh, like a little, um, a little quiver, or even a little kind of, and maybe a tear crying, kind of moment, a little shake in the system. But you just be with your body, and you use your hands around the heart, around the sternum and the thymus, around the belly. And you just bring your hands where it feels like you need to put your hands, and you can use a pressure a hold or you can use a kind of rub just to kind of you know bring that focus back into the center of the body so we're, we're going to kind of reactivate that vagal nerve kind of pathway just to bring you back into the digestive system and into the heart and the lungs and back into the skin feeling your own body you could just rub your own legs so you don't even have to be rubbing the middle you could just be doing some gentle stroking movements of your legs or of your arms. And if you're with someone, you might even just be like reach out and kind of just have a little hug together. The Remember that the touch is uh, biologically really, really vital for um, helping us to recalibrate. And actually, if we get the uh, stroking rhythm right, we're actually going to activate very specialized nerves that have a highway connection to the brain that is just one way so the skin talks to the brain and it's this part of this grooming um, kind of evolutionary uh, habit I suppose um, that when we groom when we stroke we are directly calming the nervous system so you might find that there's places where actually you go yeah no actually that place works for me and so you can actually just use the stroking or use the holding or the rubbing to bring you back in okay so whatever it is that you want to do you could use squeezing oh, just kind of waking that body back up again and drawing it out of that reflexive um, response now the jaw is one of the fastest um, muscles to contract and so you might even just take your hands a little bit to the jaw and we're not pushing into the muscles and Feldenkrais we're just bringing a kind of sensory awareness here and as soon as I put my hands here my brain goes oh I'm holding tension oh and it will have information as to um, how much tension is there and then it will be able to choose uh, how much tension it would like to let go of and can feel the tongue and again that might just elicit a breath response of oh it's, jaw is tense maybe even the neck muscles will feel like they'll relax and we can very gently press into the eyes so you can again we're not pushing hard we're just taking the hands there just really feeling if I apply a small press here I'll feel how much tension is actually in those muscles and then my nervous system can do what it would like to do to recalibrate that tension to be more kind of fitting for the moment so the eyes the jaw the center of the body all those beautiful digestive and respiratory organs and then the skin so we're using that stroking grooming response uh, some people like to come around the back of the neck so around the kind of brain stem and just use that kind of gentle hold or rubbing around the back of the neck down you can do sort of some long strokes from down the back of the neck to the tummy and down the legs whatever it is that suits but again you might just yeah reach out and hold someone's hand recalibrate with the people who are there 
And then, of course, when you start to find that you've got your body and your breath coming back in, then we're going to recalibrate to the environment so we can look around and we can see the light and the shadow. We can see the little movements in the trees or people passing by and just kind of reorganize to seeing the space as it is and then recalibrate to hearing the space as it is and maybe even the smell or a sense of where we are in space that proprioceptive system can come back online oh here's my head and my chest and my pelvis I'm sitting on the ground or I'm standing and and we re recalibrate to sensing our weight over our base of support on the surfaces that it's resting upon and then from there we can you know come back into our bodies in really um, just really simple ways you might just want to add these kinds of practices in um, on a regular basis so you don't really necessarily want to wait for the startle reflex to be activated but using touch um, holding and pressing and rubbing using um, breath and eye and jaw kinds of awareness um, seeing the space hearing the space smelling the space sensing your body sensing the ground you know these little practices they are the kinds of um, you know, kind of foundational practices for uh, being present foundational practices for feeling calm uh, and feeling like you are in this moment and not in a past memory or in a kind of a future concern. So it's like, keep coming back, keep coming back. If you're in your body, you'll be so much better placed to take action in the ways you need to. When we're in past thoughts and we're in present worries, they're not really good places to, um, to really look around and see what needs to happen. So we want to keep coming back to the body and keep coming back to this environment that we are in gravity ground with this beautiful fleshy body that we have so give that a go and see if that's something that um, supports you in sort of de-exciting and bringing yourself out of that startle reflex bye everybody see you later